I finally got my wood delivered around one of the last good days of fall. I say fall, but up here that really isn't the right word. The closer word is yellow week, or weeks, if I had to give it a name. A few weeks yellow, and then one day every leaf is gone, and then it's winter. But when it got here, it wasn't winter yet. Actually, it was probably one of the best days so far. It was still warm outside enough to work comfortably, and the colors were just about as good as they were going to get. The wood I got should be just about enough to get me through the winter, but most of the pieces are too big to fit inside my stove, so they'll have to be chopped again. But I have no problem with that. I've really started enjoying the woodwork. It's exercise, it's satisfying, and it's productive, so really no downside. But there is a lot of it. Two cords, and all of that has to be walked over to the cabin. It was going to take a lot of toiling to get it over to the cabin before the snow started falling, but I wasn't that lucky. The next night it started coming down, and by morning we had our first few inches of winter. It gets down to the 20s and 30s at night now, weird to think that sometime this winter it'll get some 70 degrees below that, but that's a problem for then. Right now I still have wood to cut, and lots of it, but it's nice simple work, and honestly it's more fun to do it in the snow. It makes me feel more rugged, like I'm really earning my right to be here, stupid as that is, but really I know winter is the real test, and kind of the final test. The build itself and the first summer have come and gone, but winter's gonna last three months longer than I've been here already, and it's barely begun. I think everything should come out okay. I have more than enough comments about how I won't make it through the winter to keep me going until May, but guessing the future is a fool's game, so one day at a time. After I've toiled a while and gotten enough done to be happy with myself, I can head inside and get the fire going. I usually get the fire going when I wake up, but since I was going to be working outside anyway, I figured I didn't need to until now. The new stove was a bit finicky at first. It billowed out smoke for no reason a couple times, and I do mean billowed, like starting a fire in a wooden box kind of billowing, and it would smoke out the whole cabin for a couple minutes and then suddenly stop again. I've never been in a house without a wood stove, so if the problem could be found, I would have found it, but... It hasn't happened for a while, and now the stove is probably my favorite fixture of the building. There's every opinion on the internet, and more and more often I've seen people talk about the quote-unquote fantasy of living in a cabin in the woods, whether they think it's an idealized version of a very hard life or just an outdated dream, but let me assure you, once you're in this stage, it's wonderfully peaceful. Most of my days are a lovely mixture of cutting wood, making food, basically just breakfast, bacon, eggs, toast, pancakes, coffee, jam, it's really all I need. And I have all those things a few times a day. Maybe internet might be nice, or running water, or things like that, but this... All this is enough, at least for me. Strange to think a year ago I was sitting in some class, counting the minutes until it ended, doing nothing of importance or meaning or consequence. And now I'm here. It's good to take a minute to admire what's been achieved, how much has been seen and worked for and done, and where it's gotten you. Sure, there's always more to be done. The roof isn't finished, I still have to replace the door. Siding needs to go up, finishing, cleaning, tidying up, but 
right now it's warm. It's warm, it's quiet, and I'm close to broke until payday comes around again, but until then, it's enough. But you can't sit idle forever. Eventually you have to get back up and start being productive again, or at least active. So I think it's a fair question to ask, what do I actually do here all day? Well, lots really, but a typical day goes something like... Wake up. It's very chilly and much later than any reasonable person gets up. Spend the next hour or so tending to the fire until it starts giving off a noticeable heat. Breakfast and coffee number one. Go cut wood for a while. Sweep and tidy up, but nothing is ever clean enough. Think about the videos that need to be made and the things I need to film. Go tend fire again. Think about the ceiling and how it's still not finished. Find something to distract myself from the ceiling that needs to be finished. Admire my sweaters. Consider getting more. Remember I can't afford said sweaters. Second breakfast. And a little bit more wood. Read a book for a bit. And finish the day by preparing for another night in mild fear of the countless strange noises that come from just beyond my windows. Yeah, the cabin life is peaceful indeed. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm sorry about the brevity of this video. It's a little shorter than I would have liked. And I'm sure you all would have liked. You have made it abundantly clear in the comments. But I've just had a lot of life stuff going on and I've been super busy. But now all of that is out of the way and I can get back to making stuff as full time as I can manage. So I have a lot of big end of the year projects uh, in the works. I have a few in the planning stage and quite a few that are in the editing stage and those should be out much sooner rather than later. So expect more regular uploads soon. I will do my absolute best to come up with video ideas. If you guys have any video ideas, please leave them in the comments. I always need more stuff. And that is gonna just about do it. Thank you all so much for watching this little update. Hope you all are having a lovely fall. And until next time, I'm Mick and toil for your food. Have a lovely Monday.